Aha, I threw a chair at you. Eat panel, bitch. Bet you regret fucking with me. Anyone else? No? Yeah? I'm gonna cleanse this bitch. This house is clear. Shit. A lockdown only be lifted by a directorial override. No, oh, great. This guy's talking to me. Again. This is what we came here to do. This is like dead space, but not in space. My gun can be a key. It is neat. Ah, everything's unlocked. Oh wait, I take it back. There's space. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. Yes, get to know each other. Wait, hold on. This is what I unlocked earlier. Wait, there's something here. Is it? Oh, I gotta watch the TV. Oh shit! Last time I saw this, it freaked me out. Oh god! Here we go. Just the same episode. Nope. It's a new one. Hey, man! What are you trying? I'm trying a dog! I'm trying the pyramid. The what? The pyramid. <laughs> What's a pyramid? What the fuck? The black pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. She's so mad. Or is it? It's a weird, crazy alien dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all the fucking that white and never find your way back home. Oh. I miss my home. The sound of the, the modem is making it even funnier. Oh no. I'm glad I came back to see that. Alright, so I'm back. I heard the hiss attack with power plant. Brings up a lot of new questions. Hmm. Are they communicating? Coordinating? What about the plant attracted them? The power plant is largely confidential. No use guessing the hiss's motives if we don't even know what kind of energy it uses. What do you mean? It has to be a fusion reactor. There's no other way to create that kind of energy output, right? Uh, where's your ass at? Look at my ass. I have an ass. Where's your ass? Huh. Disappointing. I'm just floating here. Okay, I gotta find... She's over here. Where's she at? Uh, no. 
Wait, I can probably go through here now, huh? Is that level three? Nope, I don't have clearance. I just have level two. I'm a senior Apparently the hits are infiltrating control points. Hope says setting these things up may help. But I don't even know what I'm doing. Just Director's office. I don't want to go there. I want to go to... I want to talk to what's her name? Emily. The board room. Is she here or is she downstairs? Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yeah, let's... Yes, of course. We got shit to talk about. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. Hmm. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... Satan. She helped us. Huh. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. It was a ghost named Showbiz. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. Hmm. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Hmm. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Same. Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. Hmm. I call her Polaris. As in a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Hmm. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. Gee, I wonder who they One are. was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? No, that was you. The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So... Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. Hmm. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Thanks for clearance three, finally. I'm the director, but you know. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. All right. Do you feel it? No. Something's coming. Okay. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, 
I will come calling. Oh shit, RT. What the hell? Oh, here we go. Darling's ribs. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought of a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? Hmm. Building shifts. This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? Hmm. It's true. I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, and she's excited very. about it. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. Jesus! The tiger shark, Darling's pet research project. And forget what he was researching. How do people work here? Pope's role. You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. Yeah, she See, does. There's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the bureau, including the science, is without precedent. Hmm. All right, so Ocean View Motel and Casino. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. Hmm. Look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. Hmm. Control points. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Well, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Oh. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What? I mean, you mean physically? Uh, no, not that I've ever heard of. Huh. Why? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. <laughs> Let's hold off on the tests until later. More tests. You're a bitch. Okay. It's just wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. <clears throat> oh, I love nerdy women, but she is a big old a little too See nerdy. See you soon. Be careful Not even nerdy. out there. Just smarty pants. All right, smarty pants. All right, let's go do the things. Okay, how do I get to research? Sector elevator, it's probably where I need to go. Ah, there we go. Research sector. Here we go. This look, this looks like a research sector. What the fuck? Where am I supposed to go? Fuck! Well, I broke that. Oops. Dr. Darling, head of 
Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, hmm. I, I've been here for 24 years now. I, I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries. Authored studies of grave importance. And in all this work, yep. Play with there's stuff. one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. <laughs> Otherwise, bad things will happen. Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. Oh yeah, this place is all fucked up. I can see where I need to do that already. Demon thing is talking. The fuck? Here, be free. Test that out. Come on. Come to Papa. Hmm. Oh, the fucking flies are back. Oh yeah, that was beautiful. Oh, you just killed your friend! What the hell? Come on, hurry up, reload. There we go. We're gonna go up instead of down. Dr. Darling's office, okay. That's questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? What's the deal with the headroom resonance anyway? I... Okay. He's drunk. I think. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. They're not tracking your movements. Or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. Do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Huh. Think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. <laughs> One day that classified not water might pour in and 
You'll be glad you got a got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. We're making more. The sound of the, the modem is making it even funnier. <laughs>